Uh, do you know what dyspraxia is? Um, it's is it similar? Well, is it like a movement disorder? Someone says. I know what dyspraxia is. My friend is it, and she can't catch balls. I think it's um, is it to like is it like dyslexia but with sort of math stuff? Nope. No. <laughs> no. It's a uh, difficulty with physical movement and accepting commands to do physical movement. I think, from my understanding, it's a, um, a lack of hand-eye coordination. Dyspraxia can affect any or all areas of development, intellectual, emotional, physical, language, social and sensory, and may impair a person's normal process of learning. Usually, it's said to be an impairment of the organisation of movement, but associated with this may be problems of language, perception and thought. Um, do you know what dyscalculus is? Is it like dyslexia but numbers? The effects. I have got no idea. No. Uh, what about not a clue? Discounts. No. It's the uh, inability to add up properly and count. It's difficulty doing it's, that. Yeah. Not being able to add up with something math-wise. Um, to hazard a guess, I'd say it's um, an inability to do maths. Discalculate. It's a bit like dyslexia, but it's um, with numbers. <laughs> Discalculate is a learning deficiency caused by abnormal functioning of a specific part of the brain. It causes people to struggle solving and understanding simple number concepts. Um, do you know any famous people that suffer from these illnesses? Um, Einstein had dyslexia, didn't he? he did. I want to say Albert Einstein, but he's not one of them, is he? Yeah. I, I think Gwen Stefani has it, from No Doubt. I can't think of any. Dyslexia. Um, no, not really. Uh, I know really. Daniel Radcliffe has dyspraxia, and uh, he said it, it held him a bit back on the stunts. So. Not at the top of my head, no, I'm afraid. Tom Cruise. He's dyslexic. He has to read his learn scripts via tape, I think. All these laws of him, isn't they? Um, offhand, no, I can't tell you. It's somebody like Gwyneth Paltrow or somebody like that, isn't it? But Famous people with dyspraxia. Daniel Radcliffe, David Bailey, Richard Branson, Florence from Florence and the Machine, Albert Einstein. Famous people with dyscalcula. Cher, Albert Einstein, Henry Winkle, a.k.a. The Fonz, David Bailey, Hans Christian Andersen. Do you know any strengths that people might have as, like, like who suffer from these conditions? Um, I don't really know much about dyspraxia and dyscalculus, but people with dyslexia can solve puzzles really quickly, can't they? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. You can get extra time in an exam. <laughs> Other than, other Isn't uh, being good at maths one of them? Um, some of the strengths of dyspraxia are um, persistence and determination, uh, extremely hard working, good auditory skills, which may include ability to learn languages and music, creativity, photography, lyrical writing and poetry, uh, sensitivity and empathy. Uh, they're often verbally adept in maturity. People with dyspraxia are often very creative. Uh, when a person with dyspraxia decides to do something, they're often very focused and extremely hard working. In our experience, they may be perceptive, sensitive, extremely compassionate and kind. Learning language, verbal reading and writing, writing poetry, visualising and memorising printed words, areas of science that do not require maths, understanding geometric figures, creative arts, understanding general maths concepts that do not require numbers, and individual with dyscalculia will often be characterised by normal or above average intelligence.